Hello my friends of Atari Labs, my name is Olmo Toya. please welcome to this tutorial, this tutorial is for the elaboration of a Geospatial REST API, what this means a Geospatial REST API, okay, so it's a kind of what they will, um, what we could say is that you can do your special processes not inside your computer but you can call or you can send the your special information to another computer and then that that computer will process that your special information and require the desired output that you want okay so let's let's digest this okay so i'm going to to explain this on paint so here we have a computer uh -huh. and here we have another computer okay so here we have a chip file okay so we and we get through rest so through uh through a rest service yeah we provide this to to that computer and this computer from the chip file actually gets in this case the centroid okay and it brings back the centroid here okay so then what is the advantage of that the advantage of the rest api is that you can detach or you can have all your heavy your special queries or your your special tools in another computer you can call that computer uh, with ease, you can call that computer, you can set that into the cloud, you can call it from anywhere or something like that, okay? Or you can, or maybe, and then for your organization, you can have a better control of what is going on because actually you can record how many pro, how many times this process has has run and, and among other things, okay? So we are going to do that. We have created a, a small, we have created a uh, small REST API in Flask, okay? According to the, if this tutorial actually get traction or get interest, we are going to do another, we can do another REST, but in Django, a geospatial database in Django. So let's start. So we start by typing Anaconda Prom. In the description of the video, you will actually will have the uh, geopackage that is a, um, this is a polygon chip well your package where from what from that we are going to get the centroid for every polygon okay and for this we need to have a um, for this we need to have a conda environment conda env list and this conda environment has all the your spatial libraries as your pandas as gdal as some, so all of this so this is in this case geohatari labs conda activate geohatari labs great so and then cd documents so play the zipped folder that will be in the description of this video you can uh, you can place it on documents you, and then see here you will go to the folder and then you launch here Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Lab. Okay, great. That's amazing. Okay, great. So let's explain what we have here. Okay, on the settings, I change it to light because. Okay, great. Okay, first we have two things. Let's start with the Flask with the REST API because this is actually just a notebook that actually calls that API. Okay, what we have done on the API? First we import Flask, then we import Shapely, that is the one that it will extract the, Shapely is the one that it will extract the centroid of the, of the polygon and JSON because we there is this I mean the inter data is transported or like transfer among among the web through a JSON uh, and this JSON is kind of um, 
tricky for me because actually uh, sometimes it it is understand uh, understood as JSON sometimes it's string and something like that well this is what we are going to do okay we create a f an app we create a list of polygon and then you are going to see how this list of polygon is going to store for every time that you run the rest you are going to store uh, some information on this polygon list okay then the this has an ID and why the, why it has an ID because for every time that you run this the data that they store will have an ID and this is a consecutive ID so actually it will it will increase every time that you have it will increase every time that you have the that you have run this okay and then you have two methods on the rest okay you can go and see a lot on Python rest there is huge information but the the main okay you have four methods but in this case we have implemented two with these URLs endpoints that is called first the if you get the API with a get method you actually will get a list of all the polygons stored on the rest API however if you if you access the rest service with the post method what you will do is that it will from the JSON that is the data that has been transferred it will uh, turn it into um, a JSON okay well something redundant but it will turn it into a JSON then it will extract the coordinates from the multi polygon and then it will create a shape and from the shape it will create it will extract the centroid and the x and y coordinates and then it will also add to the dictionary the id and also the name okay and all of this will be added to the list of polygons to this list of polygons okay and then since i don't want uh, for example here um, actually this can be here okay because I don't want to store this and then it will return that polygon okay and if not they say the request must be JSON and it will return an error message okay so let's run our rest file so we just go have to go here to say the scripts okay and then say python m run uh, run Python M flask run flask flask and actually run Python M okay and it's running and why is running because your app is dot is called API app dot pi app dot pi and this is really important otherwise it won't run in Windows okay so it has its kind of tricky okay so let's see let's see let's clear all outputs okay so okay so now what we are going to do is that based on this check file we are going to call this rest api okay so this web service okay so we import request json volume geopandas we open the geopackage okay and so here we have a lot of polygons okay so we are going to get just the first polygon okay that is a geodata frame but it has only one and then we turned it to json okay so this is a string of a dictionary okay well and then from here we are going to call this is the api url okay this is the rest service okay and then we are going to get all the okay we are going to use the get method okay the get method will return all the polygons that are stored here and then okay in this case oops wow 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 yeah that should not happen because actually 
I have restarted, but it seems that the that this on the, is on the background. So let me. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Python flash. Okay, okay, okay. I will do. I will do something in the monitor. I have to kill the process because it. What it seems now is that this is uh is running some some process Okay, I will finish process. So it was okay. I will kill all my Python process. Really sorry about that, but I mean it takes a lot to to create. Okay, I have I have deleted all my, and then I can start again. So uh, because it seems that the process is on the background. Okay, so CD documents, CD documents, CD geospatial, conda env geohatarila conda activate. Geohatari Labs, okay, Jupiter Lab, great, okay, and now I can. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do is that here I'm going to open a terminal, CD scripts, Python and flask run okay and that will be run under power 5000 okay and what is different from the previous one so we open well we open the the geo package we have the head we have the json but we are going to first get all polygons i mean to use the get method okay and this empty okay and that that is what should appear to you as well because it's empty because actually you don't have any information because you are just starting your project okay and then you add one polygon okay so we are going to use the polygon and then we get the response dict the response dict is it gave you a response and the response is actually the centroid and the name of the polygon okay and then here with volume we can plot the original we can plot the original polygon and then we can plot the centroid as well and then as we can see this is the centroid and this is the polygon and then here uh, then here we have one polygon but now what we are going to do is that we are going to work with the second polygon okay and then we are going to, to do all the steps okay and then we are going to get the centroids of the second polygon okay and as I told you this process of of defining or or calculating the centroid is not done is not done by it's not it's not done by this computer okay but it's rather done by this uh, by this web service okay so we run this and then we got the what we have here is the centroid of the second polygon okay and then if we call with the get method we have here the centroid of the first polygon and the second of the third polygon if you run this three times you will actually have drift polygons okay and that's it so this is a example of what is a rest what it is 
a REST API, a geospatial REST API. Okay, you need to have a geospatial environment with with Gedal, with that there is a tutorial on that. Okay, and with this you can do that. You play around with this if you have if you do recursive geospatial analysis, you do multiprocessing, or you want to have servers, geospatial servers, that will be a great, uh, Jose, a great example to start to think how you are going to build those servers, those processes and so on. Okay, my name is Saul Montoya, thank you for your patience, thank you for, for um, seeing this video, really sorry about the, the topic of of this of rerunning again but it happens i mean it happens uh, have a great day don't forget to subscribe and see you in coming webinars tutorials and so on.